Hey planties, welcome back to my channel, Health Plan Pixie. For everyone that's new to my channel, my name is Monique. Welcome back to all my existing subscribers. Today we talk about the philodendron bill marks fantasy. This plant is so amazing, but I find a little bit um, finicky. Um, I sort of wanted to get it to the stage that it's not living in a glass house so hopefully I'll be transferring this one into a bigger glass. Exciting. And yeah so this guy lives on my LED plant shelf. Same as every plant, bright, indirect light, and they need the humidity. I just have the lid open because this plant has already outgrown this cute little um can't think of what they call these glasses. Anyway, also if you have a philodendron Burmax fantasy, please let me know in the comments below. If you have it in a, in a glass container or in a terrarium, if not, let me know. I'd love to know what sort of humidity you have it at. Yep, bright. So my LED shelf setup is, you can see it in the mirror behind me. And I got the same cabinet there. So this room has humidity at about 65 to 70 percent but it doesn't really matter if you have your Bill Marx fantasy in one of those glass containers or this is a glass egg I bought from Kmart such a shame that they have them discontinued that was that's a another little cutting I took off the bigger plant here when I first got my Burmax Fantasy I had a little cutting like that it only had one leaf and it was super tiny when it arrived I was like <laughs> oh my god but anyway so I'll have it sitting on a heat mat as well And I got it in my Aroid mix. So let's transfer it into this nice big glass. <laughs> All right. So let's take the. Um, you can use your hands, but if you can't fit your hands in. That time of the day. <laughs> so I use tongs, just go in, gently grab it, and pull it out. So this is it. Just <laughs> oh amazing look at the leaves so beautiful so I transferred into the bigger glass but I won't be using moss in the base what I've done in this container I use perlite with your perlite wear a mask or in general when you mix your potting mix wear a mask and gloves the perlite is actually soaking in the sink at the moment. Give it half an hour soak. When I do mix the perlite for my potting mix, I'm not worried about it. But if you use the um, perlite to have anything in perlite at the moment, I don't think so. Oh, actually, I do have. 
I have one cutting sitting in perlite. Just make sure you pre soak the perlite before you use it. This little steak is just a um, skewer. I won't um, pre-pot it. I transferred it to soil about a month, couple of months ago. So coming up to winter, I won't disturb it again. I'll let it do its thing, put it in a new glass vase. It's a vase. <laughs> and we see what happens. So pre-soak the perlite with filtered water and I filled it up to about the height of the pot and let's transfer the plant into it now. So here's the also or taped maybe you can say that it's a bit of clear type two skewers together give it a new little steak Check this one out. you can tie it or you can just wrap the plant around it so <laughs> All right, now the fiddly pop. Just gonna create a little hole where I'm gonna put my pot into. almost lost it and it's in so make sure when you buy your glass vessel <laughs> that your hand fits in or you need longer tongs I don't have longer tongs so I'm using my arm And now I'm just gonna do a bit of deco, decorative, just put the, tidy it up a bit and then I will clean the glass and we're all done. Alright guys, that's Philodendron Girl Marks Fantasy. Also not to mistaken with the philodendron burl marks which has a lot bigger broader leaf burl marks fantasy complete different plant i'm really happy with the result i'm not quite sure i think um i'm going to put a bit of glad wrap over the top to start off with and remove it slowly and see how it goes. I filled up the water to about there and yeah I hope you like this video give it a like if you did and I'll see you next time stay planty bye